spend a day with Gary Glitter. A few other things as well, but no matter what insults you throw at Gary Glitter, there is no denying his success in pop. It is 13 years since his first hit, and he's just received yet another silver disc. His chart career started in 1972, and in the next three years, he clocked up a dozen top ten hits. The first was Rock and Roll Part One. Gary has made a million and spent it since 72, and the Inland Revenue are still chasing their share. But things are looking good at the moment. There's a new single out today, and Gary's off on tour on May the 1st. This week, Jan Raven spent a day with Gary Glitter. When I arrived, Gary was struggling through a non-too-expert game of tennis with film producer Lawrence Myers, who'd invited him along to discuss a possible film oh. role. With a starring role at stake, Gary probably thought a timely trip was prudent. Gary. Thanks, Gary. I, I kept the score. Hard luck. Never mind, eh? Still, I've got the old sweating game. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Do you yeah. play a lot of tennis? Yeah, quite a bit. Courtesy of Lawrence here. Well, it's a nice course, Let's isn't get, it? Go get some breakfast after. Okay. You. Oh, right, lovely. Okay. Great. Do you do a lot of uh, lot of sport to keep fit and whatnot? Yeah, I've been jogging this morning. Um, I've got to get on the rowing machine, and of course, I like the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Come this way, dear. Yeah. And it's really London in the eighties, like Darling was. I know my place. While the menfolk got down to business, I made myself useful. Did you see the Sunday Times? Yeah, I saw right. a bit of it. The Sunday Times this, this week was very interesting because it said the premise is that London has died in the 70s. It was swinging in the 60s. It's now come to life. Mm -hmm. And this film, which, uh, yeah, as I said, we're going to September, is really London in the 80s. It was written by a guy called John Pierce. It's his first script. He wants to direct it. We can get it financed with him. So that's it. So... How do you think that meeting went, then? I'm very excited about it, because, um... I mean, Lawrence produced the first film, and he knows... What's that? Remember Me This Way, um, which we did really well with. Gary Glitter, screen test. Gary's Take first, it. and as far as I know, his last screen test, was captured on celluloid in this 1973 this documentary. Of course I miss you, darling. We'll just have to wait till I get there. Put the champagne on ice and just think about me. Relax. You should both be ready by the time I get over. Always with the jokes, Mr. Comedian. You're coming with us. Well, show business is wonderful. I mean, I get to, um do all the most wonderful things in the world. I can be whoever I want to be at any time I like, courtesy of all the great public. I mean, is, yeah. is Gary Glitter a part that you play? Yeah. Or are you really like that? Yeah, I'm really like that. But I mean, it is a part. It, it enables me to, you know, to, to do things a little bit more outrageously, you know. Next on the agenda was Gems Waxworks, where Gary had an appointment to be photographed in detail prior to being immortalised in wax. So what does Gary get a waxwork actually for, then? Well, it's for um, a wax museum we're going to have in our new mega store, 1416 Oxford Street. Yeah. Who have you done so far? Uh, well, as you can see, we're having done the McCartney and oh. the other original 64, 65 Beatles. Cheeky, chirpy grin. <laughs> There's Lennon on the shelf. George Does Harrison up there. What, 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 who's this you're doing over here? Look at Luke. Yes, Gary, three guesses. Hello, Dolly, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I was going to say she's difficult to recognise without the blonde hair, but in fact she's not at all, is she? No. What was it about Gary's expression that you were trying to get that was sort of typical of him? Oh, that sort of in concert look, you know, the... Um, <laughs> shock to me. The, the, the shock Shocked horror. and scared stiff. Yes. Right. Can we leave a few of the lines out? I mean, uh, just... Uh, <laughs> lock me in. Do you want to admit? Pay me, yeah? <laughs> I'm going to skint. I'm oh, not again. Oh, again. <laughs> oh, Up 
that day was at Gary's record company, Arista, for an interview with ace pop gossip columnist John Blake of The Mirror. What about the single? Tell me a bit about that. Who, who wrote that for you? Um, I wrote that with uh, Mike Leander and Eddie Seagate this time. Yeah. Um, and also we got together on Boys Will Be Boys, which is our album. Right. Out at the moment. Well, you do look very well preserved for a gentleman in approaching middle age. I mean, how, what's your secret? How do you keep looking so young? Well, I have a, a blood transfusion every day. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they stick me back in the box at night. The trials know? don't show the stain, <laughs> do they? <no. laughs> I'll tell you something else I was going to ask you. While I was waiting for mm. you, I, I saw this photograph of you with Paul Young. Young Paul, yes. Do you remember those rumours that went around ages and ages ago that you were Paul Young's dad secretly? Um, in fact, the top of the pops was very funny. Last time I saw him, he said, hello, Dad. And I said, watch it. I said, after I've been in the makeup department, you know, I'll come out looking like your son. So yeah. with the new tour coming up and the single, you're going to earn yourself a massive amount of money. No, yeah. no, no, no. All, all well, the money goes back into the tour, really. But do you think you'll be able to earn enough money to... Because you've got a few, a, few, a few little debts outstanding, haven't you, from, your, uh, from the old bankruptcy business and whatnot. So are you, are you hoping to be able to pay that off soon? I'm always hoping. So this wonderful new single, what does it sound like? Well, it sounds good. Come and have a listen. I can never say Gary Glitter practicing his wandering hand technique on Jan Ravens with Nick Hayward there.